like subscribe and leave a comment so we had over the weekend also for the boxing realm obviously you had Ty, you had uh, anti joshua versus jermaine franklin but you also had roy jones jr fighting anthony pettis the former lightweight champion in the ufc and obviously roy jones jr's hall of famer in boxing um it was, it was a really good match i watched it from start to finish uh, the tail of the tape basically just to break it down get straight into it it was a lot there's a lot more movement and output from anthony pettis than there was from roy john jr considering roy john jr is 54 going on 55 i believe uh anthony pettis is under 30 is about 36 something like that 36 37 so he's going to be quicker um they <clears throat> um yeah uh, he had pettis landing a lot to the body to the head body head and uh, mixing around cutting him off body head and turning turning uh Roy Jones, but Roy Jones was doing a lot of pop shots. He was like doing a lot of pop shot in through the whole for the whole fight, really. Then he started sort of turning it up later in the seventh and eighth. He started turning it up a bit more, so he might have been preserving his energy. But unfortunately for Roy Jones, it's like sort of a little bit too late. He should have put a bit more output uh, earlier in the fight, which he didn't, which then led to Anthony Pettis getting the victory here by I think split decision. Really good fight though. I thought it was really good. Anthony Pettis looked really good. He did look really good for a boxer. Um, really quick as well. He was landing a lot to the body and combinations. But Roy Jones has looked a bit slow in there. And he was literally just pop shotting and wait till the last couple of rounds to sort of turn it on. Which was a bit too late. That cost him the fight. So really good fight. If you haven't seen it, go and watch it. Um, it was decent. It was worth to watch. So like, subscribe and leave a comment.